You letting that happen? Yep, you're letting that happen. <laughs> we've ever shown this part of our neighborhood to you guys. We're right, right in the heart of it. Right near the financial capital of the world. There's always somebody screaming down here. Who the hell knows what this guy's talking about? I don't think he knows what he's talking about. They're auctioning off bitcoins. Who the hell knows what they're- I don't know if this is real or not. I can't tell. Ball 34 ass, ball 35. I don't know. Don't you look pretty. Thanks. Oh yeah. Get it. <laughs> Hashtag pill problems. Hashtag what? Pill problems. Pill problems. Well, when you have that many, I don't want to get cups ready. You look really pretty. Thanks. You look really handsome. Do an OOTD. What's that? Outfit of the day. Show me your outfit. Da 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 Look at you! I had to get some glasses here. Thank you very much. What, what are you doing, Chance? Going? Chance, what are you doing? Chance, what are you, you, you enjoying it? You enjoying it? Alright, maybe we'll just wait 10 minutes ago. Alright. Well, whose fault is that? Fine. Okay. We can run this way out of our building and Say it out loud, you have to spell it. He's too young to know how to spell it. Going to the no. GOG space P A R K. So the entire way there, you'll now go down. Mush. Mush, young one. Nice. It is beautiful out. So nice. It is really nice out here. We're not wearing coats. We're not wearing coats. We're really bad at this whole recording our lives thing. I, I'm really good at filming treats and stuff. And? That's it. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. Come on guys, hurry, come on. Come on, we gotta go to the dog park, come on. Oh, what's that? Oh, it's nothing. Let's go, come on. It's hyperventilating. Oh, 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 come on, I'm getting frustrated with you guys. I'm not ready. So this is a Brooklyn Bridge. It's right next to our apartment. That's a ferry. Apparently it's a pretty ferry. That is the moon. But that is the Brooklyn Bridge. I don't think we've ever shown you guys that. We live right next to it. South Street Seaport. South Street Seaport and all the tall ships and stuff are right next to our apartment. And that's the dog park. And Chance really wants to go. I don't know if you guys can hear it over the wind. This guy is blaring music. That's awesome. Only in New York. Crazy. Guys, for taking me on a walk. Turn left on the Leveled Road, then turn right. So I'm in Detroit, me and my mama. Um, I of course did not film the traveling because I slept the entire time. 
but we're in Detroit for my cousin's bridal shower. She's getting married a month after me, so now it's her turn to have a bridal shower. And so it's a mama daughter trip. I have nothing else to say about Detroit. <laughs> Look what I just discovered. When you come to Detroit, oops, I'm turning the fan down, not the sound. When you come to Detroit and get a rental car, comes with an ice scraper <laughs> because you're coming to the frozen tundra so they want you prepared for the tundra so kind of national rental car thank you thank you rental car. this is a teeny little ice scraper but we're prepared <laughs> You're so jealous, Charlie. Yes! Or was it <laughs> chips and salsa? Chips and salsa. <laughs> Back to New York. <laughs> Hello. I know the vlogs don't show it, but Charlie is excited for the wedding. So, um. <laughs> what are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? <laughs> this is the worst. I hate being sick. And even more beautiful is that I'm sick too, so there's no one to take care of. Usually when I'm sick, Charlie's there to take care of me, and the rare times Charlie's ill, more likely like his back hurts. I've been feeling well during those times, so it's been a good... Inefficient. <sighs> we're tired, <laughs> we're sick. But we're using our time wisely, and we're doing the seating for our wedding. Yay. So we're writing out all the tables. Oh, I have a long one somewhere. Some of them are long, some of them are round. That's what she said. And then Charlie's cutting out all the little names so we can put them on each seat. Whoever comments the most in the video gets the best seat at the wedding. <laughs> Ugh, so yeah, we think our dance instructor got us sick. And then I was on an airplane to and from Detroit this weekend. And so well, I think I'm a, day, I'm a day ahead of Charlie. I think I'm on the like upswing. I just have a really bad headache and like sinusy stuff. Charlie has the throat scratch. God, this sucks. <laughs> Stop filming me. <laughs> this just got better. Hot chocolate. Hot chocolate. <laughs> okay, let's try to eat the tissues. Oh, look what Charlie, I didn't show this yet. Look what Charlie let me put on the wall from the bridal shower. I, I love them. I Chance know. is eating the chips. Chance, get out the chips. Look, you guys, butt hair's trimmed, guys. Look. Yeah, butt hairs. Oh, he's embarrassed. He doesn't want to show you. Chance, Aww. you get your butt hair trimmed? Aww. Aren't they gorgeous, though? Look at the pretty tassels. All right, we have the tables marked. Let the name place and begin. Can I get a woohoo? Whoop, whoop. Can I get a woohoo? Show them the board here. It was all perfect. Look how perfect these are. And then we ran out of those colors so that we had to go to post it. It's like the sorting hat at freaking Hogwarts. Gryffindor! You look really cool when you said that the tissue on your nose. I know. I'm kind of a super nerd. I hate being sick. Chance isn't a fan of my screaming. He's got his pouty, sleepy face on. What's really funny is that we have all of your dad's friends on the green one, which means they're in Slytherin. It's fitting. Look in there. We're almost done taping, and then we actually have to do the assignments. It's, it's weird because all of our friends are in yellow, which means they're Hufflepuffs. So, little, right? They're happy people. Little softies. Hufflepuff is blue. Gryffindor! Gryffindor is yellow. Blue is Hufflepuff. Idiot! We got them all. Somehow we managed to do that without forgetting a single name. Now we're trying to place ourselves on the map. This is gonna be hard. Not because it's gonna be like difficult to organize, like clearly, it's not difficult to organize, but like. It's like a giant jigsaw puzzle. Just... I call, <sighs> for good luck, I call seat number seven. No, you're 26. I am 26. There you go. And then Chance is obviously helping us. Chance is obviously helping us on the couch oh over gosh. here. He's... Chance! No, don't wake him up. Oh. <laughs> he was twitching and kicking his legs. Good boy, go back to sleep. It's okay. <laughs> he has a water bottle. He's right here in circles. And he hits the corner of it. <laughs> he 
boring. <laughs> That's so cute. That's so cute. bad leaving you it's blood work day i'm still doing that pre what's it called chemo ready um so it's thursday morning i was supposed to be there an hour ago to get blood drawn but i just couldn't get out of bed so i'm going over to the clinic now it's just a finger prick so it's not anything that big of a deal finger pricked get my count so i'm all set for tomorrow I think tomorrow I should find out when my scans are because they're supposed to be beginning of May and it's end of April. I think tomorrow will be a big day. Back here, treatment number six. I'm back in the ginormous room. I don't know if this is like my new digs or not. Um, but really distractingly, there's a window. Smile while I'm filming you. There's a window into the nurse's station. So there's about 600 people walking by and seeing me as I do this. It's really distracting, and I keep thinking people are coming in, but they're not. <laughs> so treatment number six is cranking. The nurse missed my port, so there's a little excitement off camera this morning. It's a little port, so they said get the needle right into the center of it, and she missed. So then another nurse had to come in, and I just get so hyper about it because I had I haven't explained this yet, but I had a port with my first rounds of chemo. She went in and... Sorry, the nurse came in. I had to port my first rounds of chemo and it was broken. It was a double port. The top one was broken. So I just get like really tense and hyper. But it worked. It's all good. It's cranking. The drug's going. And it's going fast this time, so no math mistakes. Um, so yeah, the only update other than same old, same old is that this is number six, so my next treatment is number seven. And after treatment number seven is when I'm gonna get all my um, scans and stuff done. So it's actually the morning before my treatment seven, I'll have a PET CT scan. And then I'll come over here for treatment. And then probably two days after that is when I will see what it is. So I never finished talking about treatment in the hospital because I was in that corner room like you guys saw. And there are so many nurses, the nurse station is right there and I just was getting interrupted and I felt awkward. So now I'm choosing to do it on the train in front of people. People haven't boarded yet. Fun fact, if you go on a train, use the red cap service. If you have luggage, literally, I have a carry-on luggage and Charlie has like a gym bag, but if you give them a couple dollars tip, they bring you onto the train before anyone else comes down so you can pick your seat. Look, there's no one here yet. <laughs> you can pick your seat, they put the luggage up there for you and it was $5. It's worth it in my book. And Charlie's brown bagging it. So oh I'll, kings. I'll get back to the treatment in one second. Because Charlie hasn't even heard about today yet. But, thank goodness I'm wearing a scarf. This is my uh, chemo shirt. Because it has buttons down the front. So I can unbutton it to access my port, right? So I wear this pretty much every other Friday for treatment. <laughs> and I wear my shirt in support of Alex <laughs> on her days of treatment. <laughs> We're twitting. No clue. I had no clue when I left this morning. She was wearing this shirt. It's so embarrassing. Thank God I have this big scarf. I'm rolling my sleeves up so I can match it. Maybe it'll disguise our embarrassingness. Literally, look. <laughs> yeah, this, I have a boy shirt on. She has a scarf and I have headphones on. Right now. <laughs> you embarrassed or you glad? I'm, you I'm proud of it. It's the one. <laughs> Can't see it. This is terrible. <laughs> uh, what did you drop? My phone. Yeah, karma again. <laughs> you may put up people in the vlogs and you pay for it. Oh, oh damn. Look at the train. <laughs> Left hand side, we've got the New Jersey train at train. The Amtrak is catching up. Oh no, New Jersey train's going ahead. Oh no, and the Amtrak's losing out. No, I want to buy a hair. Okay, so apparently there are now watermelon flavored Oreos. We come home and we make a point to go to Target. Chick fil A, Target, and Sweetwater. Those are our last hits when we're in Virginia. 
But when we were at Target, we found these things. And Alex dared me to try them, so I'm gonna try them now. Dude, they're even tight. <laughs> Doesn't look like a good face. <laughs> I've heard that they don't actually taste like what they're supposed to taste. No, no, there's a hint of watermelon. Is there? <laughs> you wouldn't choose it? Oh, it's like, would you really want a watermelon cookie? <laughs> like, would you want that flavor with crunchy, you know. sweet cookie? But watermelon's like, oh, look. Primarily Healthy water. Healthy water or fruit. Yeah, right? This is like, oh, let me, like, you know, eat, eat my fat that. ass full of <laughs> Oreos. Oh, wait, this reminds me of health. How do you know we're not in New York anymore? <laughs> what up, dude? Oh, there's... Staring at me. Staring at me. Oh, there's another one. You let that happen? Yep, you let that happen. <laughs> See, someone's. Oh no! You're so good. Someone's cleaning the table. So good. Your garage to your lawn. You'll find that you can get started. So I realized that I never finished talking about my health update because I fell asleep in the train and didn't wake up until we got in the car to go home. But. Like I was saying, my next treatment is actually gonna be on next Tuesday. And um, that'll allow me to have all the scans and stuff that morning. So I'll have a PET scan, a CT scan, a, a PET CT first, and then a separate CT of my neck. And then I have a little bit of a break to like let the crap from those tests leave my system. And then I'll have my do um, doctor's appointment and then treatment. And then, That'll, the results from those scans will take a couple days. If there's anything that is being is able to be biopsied, they're not gonna like just like poke a needle in my chest and like poke around until it hits something. They have to have a mass that's like they know they're gonna hit or have an endoscopy and do the one by my stomach. Then that will happen on Friday the 9th. I made them move it to the Tuesday from Friday because otherwise I'd be having a biopsy four days before the wedding. <laughs> that was not happening. So they were accommodating, which they always are. The interesting thing is, they said regardless of the uh, results of the scans, even if it's worse, even if the tumor is bigger or should spread more, they're actually not going to take me off the trial. They're gonna leave me on it regardless because they've seen in trials with this drug with other types of cancer that the tumors actually get worse before they get better. By worse, I mean in size. The scans only show how the brightness shows how active the cells are and obviously it shows then how big the tumor is but it's not really showing what's going inside like going on inside of the tumor my tumor might be bigger and it's kind of like if you imagine it to be kind of like a war zone so if you're not getting treatment at all the tumor is just spreading because it's going like this the, uh, sorry the cancer is just spreading the tumor is getting bigger like this if you're getting chemo chemo just cracks away the cancer right so it cracks, 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 so the tumor has gotten small and then falls apart and dies. My kind of treatment gets into the tumor and kills it, so it might get bigger because it's inflaming because it's kind of like a war zone. So all the little soldiers are filling up the tumor to kill it. It's not cracking away at it like chemo. So the PET scan might show that it's bigger, but it might not actually be getting worse. It just might be the tumor is being fought against. So, we'll see what happens. I, of course, am the first one on the trial to get scanned, so they have no idea what the results are going to be. They have no one to compare me to with my type of cancer. But yeah, so it, it helped with nerves a lot because I know regardless of what happens on Tuesday, I still am doing the same thing. They just have to do it to follow the trial's protocol. So yeah, we're back in New York, as you can see. I have a relaxed week ahead of me, and I think Charlie is gonna be too busy. Um, just recovering. They think that I might I'm not, they don't think that I will get any side effects that I haven't had already because one, a couple people on the trial have had just like a little tougher time um, breathing and one person have had kind of like flu like symptoms. So I'm definitely one of the ones that are tolerating the drug the best. So they don't think that any of those will develop if they haven't developed already. But I just have to look out for 
you know, my fatigue getting a little worse, which she said is always an option or even getting better, but they kind of think that it's gonna get worse. And then breathing problems just in case. Cause that's actually what they're seeing the most in the trial. Same old, same old, plugging along. Next Tuesday is a big day. It'll be a marathon day of tests, but see what's going on. Charlie wants to have a creative exit. I just think you say good night. Have a good day, night, evening, morning. We could do an Aaron Paul exit. Thanks for watching the video. Thanks for watching.